What's going on smart people? In the last video I talked about how long roughly it takes to go from physics bachelor's degree to your career in physics research and a lot of you seem to appreciate the honesty. No one really broke it down for you to how long it can really take. Uh, but for some of you it was discouraging seeing that it does take that long. If you're not sure how long it said you might want to check out that video. I'll link it in the description. So in today's video I figured I'd share my perspective as to why I think it's still worth it and why I'm still going that research route. The first reason is actually the most simple and it's that at a fundamental level I'm just not satisfied with my understanding of what things are and how they work. It seems like a bachelor's in physics is just a series of if we make these assumptions this is how we can solve this problem. What if we don't make those assumptions? You'll see that in grad school. And I'm like, why? 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 What are they learning that I'm not? Now I can be a pretty outgoing guy. I've reached out to plenty of grad students to see what is it like, what are you learning, and how hard is it. And I'm doing this to get a really good accurate representation of what it's actually like because if you haven't noticed one thing about a lot of physics majors is they love to tell you how hard it is to do it, right? But in my experience I've encountered way more humble grad students in physics than physics majors because I guess it's like the more you know, the more you know you don't know, you know? But even so, the grad students just really imply that it's a completely different ball game. It's really challenging. Watch out for Jackson, things like that. And I just, I really want to experience that. I want to know what that challenge is like. But I'd be lying to you if I said that I was going to grad school just because I wanted to formally take graduate level physics courses. The bigger reason is grad school is necessary if you want to do research, but that doesn't mean you can't get something out of it in the process. And I think what you get out of it is kind of self-explanatory. You get to learn deeper physics, and for me, I'm really excited to challenge myself at that level. Now, as for the PhD side of grad school, I think it's fair that it's going to be a bit more vague of a reason. I mean, it, it's unrealistic to say, I'm going to get my PhD because in the process, I'll learn so much more about momentum distributions and deep and elastic scattering. I just don't, I think it's going to be more big picture for most people as to why that's your goal. And for me, you know, throughout my internships, I've definitely found that I enjoy doing research. One thing that's frustrating is knowing that every single person that I interact with there knows this stuff, understands this stuff at a much deeper level than I do. These people are full-fledged experts in their respective fields. Very few people understand what they do at the level that they do. And the way that they got there, they got their PhD. Now, I've spoken to physicists who've told me that their PhD dissertation has almost nothing to do with what they're doing now, but in the process they learn what level of rigor it takes to be an expert at something. And that's pretty badass. So to summarize, I'm going to do a PhD because I know that I really enjoy doing research. I have the bright eyed view of being able to point at an equation and say that's out there because it came out of my head. And the competitive side of me just wants to be an expert at something. Now moving on to the postdoc section of this. This is probably the part that I'm looking forward to the least honestly, but I think it's something that I'll benefit greatly from. Let me explain. I am a creature of habit. I don't like to move, I like consistency, I like routines. Though I think that that's a fine way to be, I will voluntarily miss out of certain experiences if I'm not forced to experience them. And I think a postdoc will force me to change things up every few years, learn something new every few years, and just experience a different side of life every few years. Not to mention, my understanding of postdocs, which might be a little bit incorrect, is that it's your last chance to change your field a little bit. It's like, say you complete your PhD and you end up just hating it. You don't like that field anymore. A postdoc can help you transition into a slightly different field. But then at the end of the road, once all that is said and done, and I've gotten a taste of professional research, I think I'd enjoy becoming a professor. I think I'd be good at it. I think I'd be good at getting people excited to learn physics and then teaching them in my own way. But as Toby commented in the last video, if you don't enjoy the journey, you might not make it to the destination. And throughout this video, I've given you something that I'm looking forward to each step along the way. Now what I want you to do is in the comments, tell me what are you hoping to get out of each chapter. And I'll see you guys there.